Hey, what's up, everybody? This is D, and I hope you guys are having a very merry, happy, and pleasurable summer. Hope you guys are enjoying your vacation, finishing those projects, taking those trips, and most of all, breeding those fish and getting those ponds running. As you can see, the container tub, I can't even call it a tub. This is just my summer tub slash pond. It's doing absolutely fabulous. I had to go inside, put some bug repellent on because it is about... 87 degrees right here it was my watch say 87 degrees and it is blazing hot but of course i am in the cover of the grapevine which is not giving me grapes because i let it grow too much and i'm focusing too much on fish <laughs> but anyway let me take my little thermometer out here and i'll tell you exactly what the tub is all right now the tub is pretty warm if i can focus there the tub is in the high 70s almost 80 degrees so the tub is in the 80s. You can see I got guppies galore. I got platinums out here. I got quite a few fried. There's some mountain minnows. There's a nice one there. And these are just for two months. Well, well I put them out here in May. So this is about two and a half months. I have my tiger limia. Look at that one. Really big. They are really big. I know it's hard to see these guys with the focus on the camera but I'll try to get you a good angle turn the autofocus on these guys are just chilling they're not even scared of me because they're so used to me coming out here in the tubs and the plant growth forget it how can you get plant growth like this without co2 or anything I got java fern I got retala I got some uh, I have uh, just all kinds of plants growing there. I got pothos here look at this retala growing out it's not red anymore it's getting a, a real funny color because i'm growing it submerged but it's growing out of the water and actually changing color i have a lot of this floating moss here which is great for the fry to hide in as you can see they just swim in and out of that i wish i had the underwater camera hooked up there's some guppies the guppies actually jumped out of here i don't even know why i have this in here anymore uh, I had quite a few guppies in there and they pretty much jumped out. But uh, I just take this and throw it over there and make some openings because I have tons of floating plants. The auction in September is going to be loaded with floating plants. There's some red. You can see there over there in the shade it got a red color. And uh, I love coming over here because in this lateral growth pattern where I can just get six foot of area of growth, the fish grow so fast. I mean, these were fry like a month ago. They're outside, they have larvae. I feed them the flake, flu uh, flake foods from Ocean Nutrition. Once in a while, I'll treat them to some Daphnia. Oh, there is my red there's my paradise fish just went by. I have a black paradise female, but I have a red paradise male that is so bright. When he goes by, he just like looks like a tub. And look at this guy. I don't even know what the hell he is. I don't even know what I got in here no more. I'm losing so much track of what the hell is in here. Um, fish just doing great. And for those of you that have not had good luck with guppies outside, there's proof in the pudding. The platinums are doing great. I have platinums. I have a cobra. I have some cobras in here, which you actually can see the fry really well as they get to about that size. Because they have a brilliant red tail. Brilliant. I mean, when I say brilliant red tail, I don't even know if they'll keep that color when they come inside. There's like two, two guppy females that are just too dumb to jump out of the tub. But they're actually... There's one cobra in here. If I can move things around, maybe I can get him to come out. I have some java fern in here, which he dips into. But anyway, what the hell? The cat's in my yard again. I'm going to kick that cat. If you guys like cats, come to my house because I'm going to kick one. I'm sure he's been trying to get into this tub because it's 90 degrees. And to see this big swimming pool back here, this is why you have to have a cover. If you don't have a cover, you're just asking for trouble because these guys have been trying to get in this tub for like months there's the paradise fish you can see him just glowing beautiful colors i'm trying to breed 
the red paradise fish and a black paradise fish because everybody sees the blues, everybody sees albinos, but it's really rare to see those guys in the store. So I'm really trying to get those guys to breed out here. That as well as the limia, the agadaids are huge. I have a few tiger limia and I have a, a few of my agadaids that I brought out here is fry. They are absolutely huge. <laughs> I didn't even know they would get that big. Oh, wait, is that a paradise fry there? No, that's a cobra. That's a cobra. But what is that over there? This is what is so cool. Oh, there's a cobra. There's a cobra. See that brilliant color? You can absolutely marvel in the colors that they pick up outside. They are going to be hating life when I have to bring them inside for the winter. They are going to hate me with all fours, all fins rather. And a lot of the mountain minnows, a lot of the mountain minnows, the mountain minnows pretty much drop eggs, I would say probably every other day if I'm a betting man. And they're not going to eat the eggs because there's so much cover. Time out, let this helicopter go by. Alright. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, I have the tarp out here because I like to cover my car so I have a little carport over here and that also shades my plants and provides a little of tub shade here. So uh, the water doesn't get too hot. I mean the temperature may say high 70s in there but it's really cool. It's like perfect for the fish. And one of the other points that I'm going to make, I'm not going to make this video too long, is fluctuation in temperature. I know in our fish tanks in the house, we're hell bent on keeping that 77 degrees, 78, whatever it is. In the nature, in the natural environment, fish adapt to fluctuating temperatures. In the daytime, it's one temperature. In the nighttime, it's another temperature. So I absolutely do not worry about that at all. And the fish don't worry about it. I've had these guys make it all the way out until November. Of course, the guppies probably won't. I'll probably have to bring them in soon. But like the uh, native species, like good deads and mountain minnows, even the paradise fish have been out here in literally 50 degree weather, high 40s. And, and they just go in the house and I bring them back out in the next summer. And they just love it. They love it. You can see that look at that oh man good day gigantic good day it just went by and they just do well up oh, there's a tiger there i can catch his stripes hard to get him only thing is you can't really tell the fish from the top until you get a good glimpse in a clear area kind of keep these clear areas also don't have a big problem with algae because most of these fish kind of feed off of the algae and they feed off her like larvae and they pick all day long. So they grow really fast because they pick all day long. Um, another thing you'll see is my solar powered pump. <laughs> there is the pump. I got a little enclosure, the panel I got up there. I think I actually have to move another panel that was supposed to be on the top. I don't think it fell, but anyway, I don't see it there. So that's running like a top and everything is doing really well. If any of you guys are in the uh, Brooklyn area, shout me out. Let me know. I got tons of these floaters. I'll be giving these away. These grow well in the house under fluorescence or whatever you got. But they're great for fry because the fish literally lay right up in them. They lay up in them, especially if you have uh, betas or anything. Betas will sit on top of it like a bed. They, I've literally had them sit on top of it. Um yeah <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna cut it short just an update to let you guys know how everything is doing and i don't do anything i'm not changing water i barely even worry about it i just drop some flake food in here maybe every day every other day you don't even have to feed them that heavily because like i say they graze on natural filaments plant life algae daphne or whatever is just even larvae, mosquito larvae. I have the mosquito pellets I put in there so I don't get overrun with mosquitoes. But you're going to get larvae, larvae no matter what you do. And um, it feeds the fish and they are fruitful and they multiply as you can see. So till next time, really simple video, not a lot of editing. Uh, I apologize for a little shaky footage, but um, yeah, anyway.
love peas and hair grease if you have any questions if you want to set up something similar you got questions on how i did it or what to do check out my previous videos hopefully you're a subscriber if you're not click that subscribe button come on do the right thing sharing is caring till next time I'm also, before I cut out, I'm also hoping that you guys are following on the Brooklyn Aquarium Society Facebook page or my D from Brooklyn page because I'm also sharing all of the other local aquarium club events. I want you guys to share love to all of the local uh, aquarium societies. I went to Greater City Aquarium Society's meeting last week. Um, they'll be moving soon, so check out their page or I'll post that on my Facebook pages. Um, Brooklyn Aquarium Society's next meeting will be in September. We do not meet in July and August. And uh, that's it. So share the love, click subscribe, and I hope you guys have a happy summer. Love, peace, and hair grease, guys. See ya.